Good morning. Happy Sunday. There have been there has been some serious critique of my position about the right being dead, and uh, I enjoy it. Maybe maybe this could be something that somebody will step up and debate me on. It would be interesting. Anyway, um, one of the the biggest things, one of the most common things that's been held out, is that people are attending Trump rallies. And therefore, the right is not dead. Well, that's humorous on many levels. Uh, the first level that I just want to point out is that Trump is, love him or hate him, he is a star. He was a reality star. He did reality shows. Was that a something you're fired show? The Apprentice, that's what it was. He did something for WWE or one of the wrestling things. I mean, he's been in, he, I remember he was in Home Alone, one of the Home Alones. I mean, he's, he's, he's a star. He's a media star. I don't know if you, I don't know that he's a movie star or a TV star, but just somehow he's a star. And so there's going to be a, a cult of personality. People are going to be attracted to him just because he's interesting. He's famous. Uh, and then, for those of you who are completely unaware, who've been buying the bullshit the media has been telling them, Trump is not right wing. Trump is only, <laughs> Trump is a Manhattan Democrat. Trump is a Clinton Democrat. Not Hillary Clinton, but the earlier version, Bill Clinton Democrat. Build the wall. That was a, that was a Bill Clinton uh, political issue. <laughs> I mean, the guy is the guy is not right wing even in the slightest. Trump had Trump had people at the Republican uh, National Convention, one of them anyway, one convention. I don't remember which one. He had him standing up and applauding for LGBTQ rights. He had an LGBTQ flag, the rainbow flag. And and you want to be more inclusive to LGBTQ, and everybody was ch- clapping and cheering. <laughs> he is he is a Manhattan Democrat. He's a Clinton Democrat. He is not right wing. Uh, right wing in the political spectrum really tends to favor positions and issues uh, that preserve and protect tradition, religion, families. And I would pause it to you, guns. I don't know exactly why guns are a right-wing issue. I haven't thought long enough about it to really come up with a solid answer, but it seems to be there. It's consistent. And if you look on those issues, if you look at at Trump, uh, he says he's pro-life, but he's introduced nothing, nothing about abortion. Uh, He hasn't really done anything to preserve tradition or he's not religious definitely not religious i mean he gives lip service to religion but that's about it think about prominent think about prominent ministers think about prominent um reverends or pastors or preachers on the right and now think of a current one because whoever you thought of isn't currently at all powerful in in politics in the national discussion think about the last time you think about the last time you thought there was a serious challenge to, to roe v wade you know again i'm pro-life or excuse me i'm pro-choice uh but there are good pro-life arguments that you could make that roe v wade was wrongly decided i mean there's there's a reason why it's hotly contested even in even in legal uh circles but when is the last time when is the last time you seriously suspected that that abortion would become illegal in the in the u.s or when states would be allowed to make abortion completely illegal in the u.s the right's dying the right's dead kavanaugh and gorsuch both trump appointees both on board with at least the idea of lgbtq equal rights it's dead. It's dead. And if you oppose it, you're a bigot. Bake the cake, bigot. 
you're a bigot, you're a homophobe, transphobe, whatever, Islamophobe, the right's dead. The right's dead. And people showing up at a Trump rally do not make the right alive because Trump is not right wing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great morning.